hey angels how are we doing welcome once again to my channel this is evangel Anyao. i am a nigerian trained medical practitioner living and working here in the kingdom of saudi arabia <laughs> how are we doing how has it been please for those who are coming from Dina, mama Dina dynamite thank you so much i've been seeing your comments and your subscription you so oh i'm coming from dino equipment oh you're welcome thank you so much for considering to look up my channel and even subscribing i mean i appreciate you i am grateful thank you so much so now this video is about me and what i'm doing on this youtube channel as regards to Diana Ekwemi. I mean, she posted a video a few days ago, I mean, telling you that she's relocating to Saudi Arabia. And I'm coming to tell you, I mean, I want to tell you why she contacted me, why I started this YouTube channel in the first place, being a doctor. I know I had a lot of backlash. I had a lot of people saying, oh, what are you doing on YouTube? Why not face your medical practice and all that? Hello. <laughs> Yes, I am a doctor, I'm a medical practitioner, and I'm doing YouTube. I mean, is there, any, is there anything wrong with that? Is there a sin for somebody to be a medical practitioner and also on YouTube? There are so many people on YouTube who are also doctors. And the thing is that I'm not even discussing health as much. I'm just doing my thing in my own way. I just want to show you a little of my life outside the clinic. <laughs> so... Like I said, I'm going to be talking about, I mean, what motivated me, what uh, gave me the air country. I mean, yeah, because it's a lot of God to start a uh, YouTube as a medical practitioner and not discussing anything related to health as such. I mean, it's a whole lot of courage. And that is what I'm going to be discussing with us today. And also, I will tell you the reason why Diana Ekwemi contacted me. <laughs> Diana, I mean to mention this. Thank you so much. I am very grateful. I appreciate all you're doing for my channel All you're doing for me the encouragement. I mean your words melted my heart because you I mean you contacted me at the time I just wanted to stop doing YouTube videos I just wanted to concentrate on other stuff I'm doing because I felt maybe the YouTube is not gonna work and I just said oh the people I'm doing this video for are majorly doctors. They will watch they will get information. They will not comment They will not like they will not share. So what's the essence of I mean? spending my time making this video but when you came i mean when you when you contacted me you encouraged me you told me don't stop because you're really affecting lives positively you have a lot of impact i mean your channel has a lot of impact on people and especially at this very very strenuous or stressful time in our dear country there are a lot of people that are seeking for information on where to go to how to go about it and what is obtainable yeah so thank you so much for being that voice i've been hearing i mean that voice of encouragement that voice of strength that voice of confidence i mean to continue with what i'm doing i appreciate you diana i appreciate you i'm really really grateful just to refresh our memories just to i mean put some salt and spices on what i have said before i came here in the year 2015 yes as at that time there were really very few uh, nigerian doctors uh, i mean coming here or working here and a lot of them will come maybe stay six months and then jack back to another country and some of them will come maybe stay like maybe a year or two and then they will leave this particular country but when i came at that time i mean things we are not the way they are right now a lot has changed that's the simple truth about saudi arabia a lot has changed so things we are not really the way they are right now and i could remember i tried seeking for information on how to come to this place it was not forthcoming i couldn't even get anything on social media i couldn't get anything on on google but i went to naira land that was where i got the information about the agencies that are in charge of recruiting doctors from nigeria for saudi ministry of health so that was how i got that information now after the interview actually there was an interview oral interview and after the interview i tried contacting see if i could contact anybody who has been living here to know whether it is livable to know whether i mean a non-muslim could survive in this particular parts of the globe but lo and behold i didn't find any not even one information about this place now i had to type in the states 
to which I was posted. So that is our Kung Fu that. That is where I am right now. I typed in our Kung Fu that in Google search. I saw a Wikipedia write up on our Kung Fu that. But the major thing they wrote there is all about history and how baboons are chasing people i was really scared to my marrow i mean i couldn't believe it i said ah does it mean that i mean it's a very interior or remote area or what i mean would there be electricity these are the things that go through my mind would there be water would there be at least house where somebody could live like a human being are they living like i mean you know what happens in our northern part of nigeria how they build their own homes that is what was just going through my mind and when i saw the comforter general hospital it gave me a little hope i said okay for this state to have this kind of hospital because then the comforter general hospital was i mean very very beautiful so i said for this state to have this kind of general hospital it means that it's not just a very remote environment so i had that little hope i mean just just a tiny light shining through this particular state so we never knew anything i just came here empty headed <laughs> Yes, you heard me right. I came here without one single, I mean, without any information, so to say, as regards this place. Now, staying here for some time, things are changing. And remember, before women were not driving, now women could drive. That is a plus for them. And they're really changing everything to include tourism. When I came, I stayed for some years, I gathered information, I started speaking Arabic little by little. Yes, I heard this is a desert country, it is going to be hot, but I never knew it was so hot. <laughs> yes, everything was just surprising, surprising, surprising. The culture shock was just there. But as we are going through the journey, we were learning, we were dropping some, we were learning, and that is what life, I mean, that's how life is generally. You pick, you drop, you pick, you drop. That is it. Now, starting this YouTube channel, I just thought about, actually, I started this YouTube channel because I was really feeling lonely. At that time, my family was now in Nigeria. I was alone here. The loneliness was on another level. So I started this YouTube channel just to inform people of how this place is. I mean, what is obtainable, what you could do when you're here, what you could do before you come here, how you could get here, all the, I mean, necessary information that I couldn't get online before coming here. So I tried to put it out here so that people could watch them and prepare themselves before coming here. Because it's a, it's a different ball game when you're relocating to a new country, you know nothing about the place. And then maybe when you're coming, you know just little about it. You'll be better prepared to meet whatever you are coming here to meet. So that this was what inspired me starting this uh, channel. Initially, I started doing a lot of other stuff on YouTube. I, I, yes, I made a, a few uh, Saudi Arabia uh, series i made a few of them but i noticed that people were not watching them i mean you know people who come here are majorly professionals and this is a very small community so i felt they're not really watching so i diverted my attention to towards other stuff i did tech on this channel i did other stuff before i said no this is a place i have been people call me from well, i mean from time to time to ask me about this place why not instead of answering them one after the other is my time is my energy is my data is just every why not make it video so that it could be searchable people could search it and then know what this place has in stock for the store for them that was how i started another saudi series and i didn't know i mean it could be this impactful i didn't know it could be this beneficial to people and yes a lot of doctors call me relatives friends of doctors who are coming here they call me to say oh evangel i saw your video on youtube how is this place some people say oh, i saw it on, on on facebook how is this place some people say oh i saw your stories on instagram how is this place that's how i started knowing that yes yeah, some people want to really know about saudi arabia and that really gave me the the power <laughs> You gave me the power to continue, I mean, pushing out this content. And when I saw Diana Equemes chat, initially, <laughs> I don't even know what that, initially, I, I've been following her for a long time. I mean, I've been a dynamite right from when she even started because I just love her Igbo girl vibes. I just love her Nigerian kind of vibes. I just love, I mean, how she makes her video. I was just say, oh my God, look at this lady. So when she wrote me it was on 
it was on instagram i could remember that day i was at home because usually in the morning i would check my social media handles to make sure i don't have any dm unreplied or unresponded to so that day i was just i just woke up I prepared for work and then I said okay before I get ready I mean before I go to work let me just reply some DMs that are very very urgent and important and I saw her DM I mean I saw her message in on um, Instagram I just said maybe they hacked her, her, her account <laughs> seriously you know I said maybe they hacked her account because I was just wondering Dinah I mean chatting me what could be the link I mean what could be the link I mean I couldn't place it I know the, the husband is a doctor but I couldn't really I mean place it you understand so I have to say probably they hacked her account then she she just said oh please I would love to chat with you in case if you're free and I don't mind calling you if you don't mind so that's how our conversation started she asked a lot of questions and then I was really really happy to be giving that information yes at the time people say oh why are you giving all this information for free why not monetize it it's not everything you monetize i mean i just felt this is something i struggled with i didn't get information from anybody i didn't i, I searched the whole google i searched uh, uh, youtube i was just seeing only videos of shagala saying ne negative things about this place and even made me <laughs> so scared at that time so and I said, I think, I mean, things should be said the way they are. There is no country without challenges. There is no country where you will go to and you will say, oh, it's all rosy. But the most important thing is that how are you peddling through all the challenges? How are you peddling through all of them? This is how, I mean, this is what will tell you whether to continue or whether to stop. So my, my making these videos, I mean, it has really affected me positively because people get to call me, oh, are you Dr. Evangel? People, and when I see people even here in Saudi, it's not like I'm a small celebrity, you know? <laughs> because when I see people, I'm so happy that, oh, I know you, I've been watching your videos, but all those people who have been watching my videos all this while, why don't you comment? Wait till I do you. At least when you watch you comment you like so that the engagement will be i mean good comment like share if you can because if you keep if you get this information from my youtube channel and then you don't share it to other doctors other friends who are looking for such information i mean you're still going to put them through the challenges that we went through five six years ago and it doesn't make any sense because this information is now available so why not disseminate it why not share it so that people will get to see it for those who are interested i mean it is not for everybody to come here but in case people are interested so that they will be they will pray i mean they will plan themselves very well they will be they will make an informed decision i'm really happy that i mean my video is really impactful i'm really happy that people are getting to know about saudi arabia through my channel i'm really happy that i mean this space is giving me opportunity to meet uh, very good people it's giving me opportunity to meet very lovely so please i don't know how many people who are subscribed to me and they don't know Dinah Ekweme. If you don't know her, I'm going to be leaving her channel in my description and I'm going to leave it also in the comment section. Please go and subscribe to her. I don't really have much subscribers, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have much subscribers. So I don't even know how many subscriptions she's going to get, even if, with me saying this. But this is futuristic. I mean, in the future, because I know I'm going to grow, you know. <laughs> that is it this is what i said okay i should come on here and talk to everyone and tell you what my journey has been in saudi arabia on youtube and we are growing share if you can share if you can you're just helping me you're helping me to grow my platform you're helping other people to get information and you're also being happy i don't know if i'm really entertaining you you know i'm a doctor doctors don't really they're not really funny people <laughs> doctors are, are dry even when they crack jokes that is very very dry so i don't really expect you to be entertained but if i in any way i mean there's a light shining through my entertainment life life i mean just appreciate me small by sharing my videos and commenting and liking 
and what else I mean, you know everything. Subscription is free, actually. I mean, tell people subscription is free. You don't to, you don't need to pay for it. It's free. And make sure you hit the notification uh, icon as well, so that anytime I upload, you will watch. And then when you watch, YouTube will say that yes, this person's video is being liked by people. The engagement will be high, and then they will disseminate it. They will recommend it to people. They will suggest it to people. And then my ministry will be growing as well. Oh, you don't want my ministry to grow. <laughs> We must get to permanent side so we must get to permanent side and i'm taking everybody along with me so for those who have been i mean who really stuck with me for all these years thank you so much thank you so much i appreciate you thank you so much i'll see you later bye